I want to welcome you aboard submarine Cobia. Cobia is named after a fish. All the submarines the United States built during World War II were named after fish. Cobia, I understand, is a very good eating fish. It can, if you go fishing off of the Carolinas or eastern Florida, you can still catch it today. And some restaurants even serve Cobia. The boat is 311 feet 9 inches long. So she's the length of a standard U.S. football field and would stick about five and a half feet into either end zone. When Kobe would leave for a war patrol, she could be gone up to 60 days, two months, and she usually carried a crew of 80 men. So as we go through the submarine, try to imagine eight officers and 72 enlisted men living inside the submarine. Once they left port, all the deck hatches would be closed. Uh, they only allowed a few men out of, up on deck when they're out at sea. Uh, there's a large structure sticking up above the deck that you'll be walking around. It's called the conning tower. And the only men who'd be allowed up on deck would be the officers on the bridge on the top of the conning tower, lookouts above them, and any men needed to man a deck gun. Although torpedoes were naturally the main weapons of the submarine, if they're up against a vessel that was damaged or poorly armed, they're supposed to come to the surface and use the deck guns and save the torpedoes when they really needed them. Now, the average temperature inside the boat in the South Pacific, where Kobe operated, was around 95 degrees day and night. So you can just imagine living in those conditions. So if they come forward, we're going to head. This is a torpedo. This is the torpedo room. I thought I was recording before, but apparently it was not. I have 14 to 16 guys in here. There's uh, beds above and below. Not fun. And they'd have to share. Hmm. I don't want to share. So next, we're going to the officer's quarters. This would be the bedroom of, like, someone who actually had authority on the boat. Not much to... But I guess under the... But it's by himself, at least. Yeah. He's got a curtain. So he can actually be alive. So it's a bedroom. And then over here is where, like, the normal officers... Oops, sorry. The normal officers would actually stay. Or, like, a couple people. Guys, you gotta keep moving. He's waiting for us. Oh, shoot. Sure. Okay. It's just them taking time away from their gift shop. Ah, uh, we don't... It's on that side on him. No, there's another one. He doesn't want to shorten the air. Do you know what the ballast tanks are for, though, um, Zach? No. Well, when the submarine's on the surface, <laughs> they air in the ballast tanks. That makes the submarine lighter and it floats. Kind of like and then when they want to take it underwater, uh, they flood those ballast tanks Are there any more behind you guys? Yeah, they're coming. And that's Who's how they behind get it to go underwater. Then when they want to come up again, they use...